Hey guys, before we get to the video, please click that subscribe button. Thank you. Hey guys, Joshua Griffin Air serving the Middle Peninsula and the Northern Neck of Virginia. And I wanted to do a video because I've been asked a few times based on some of the other videos I've done and, you know, folks just reaching out, you know, our website, newhvacguide.com is starting to really get some traction and people are reaching out and they trust our advice. And one of the questions that always seems to come up is, you know, what brand is best? What, you know, what, which brand should I go with? And so on. And so I, I kind of have this reoccurring theme with that question, but I want to give you a few things to think about rather than just simply answering the question. And the first thing is I first, it, first of all, if you, if you want to know what brands I think suck and what brands I think are great, uh, then feel free to reach out to me, send me an email or, you know, reach out to us on the new HVAC guide, uh, website. And we, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you straight out now, why won't I just do a video on it? Why won't I just, you know, do a video that says, you know, this brand sucks, this brand's great, so on. And I'll tell you why. A few years ago, there's a, a guy that has a YouTube channel that I'll check out every now and then. And ultimately, he did a video where he told you exactly what he thought. He did a rant and he bashed a certain brand and he had his reasons for doing that. But ultimately, what boiled down to is that the brand that he was bashing, his supplier, his sales rep for that brand basically told him, look, we're not selling parts to you anymore. Until you take that video down, you know, we're, we're not going to allow you to buy our parts and take care of your customers that have our systems, basically. Just like at a lot of companies at Griffin Air, we sell certain brands if we're installing, but we'll service other brands. We'll service just about every brand. And so we have to be able to get parts for those brands and things like that. So that's honestly the number one reason why I just don't come straight out and say, you know, these brands are awful and these brands are great. I've done videos where I am very honest about certain brands. Uh, I'll tell you my experiences, but I've intentionally avoided doing a video where I just lay it out there, right? So if you want to know, reach out to me. But again, I, I just want to reiterate a couple other things. I don't think there's any one brand, HVAC brand, that is the best in every market. It's sort of like if you were buying a car and there's cert certain parts of the country that maybe Ford is the best brand to get. They have the best suppliers and the best you know parts availability and the best prices, you know, and so on, the best infrastructure, if you will. But then if you go to the next state over, they might not have their crap together. You know, they may have a few things to figure out. Maybe the, the infrastructure is not there. Maybe, maybe the suppliers are awful and they're not honoring warranties or whatever. And so Chevrolet is the best in that market. Uh, or, or Mercedes is the best in a market or whatever. So you kind of get the point. I don't think there's any one brand. I genuinely don't think. I, I have the uh, the brand that we sell locally. I think they're, they're the best for us, for our customers. We have the best warranties. We have the best, uh, lots of things, best products, cutting edge technology, uh, blazing the trail, if you will, super quiet systems, super efficient systems, super uh, performing systems, all this stuff. And I, I genuinely think that the brand that we sell locally is the best that I can offer to our local customers. The parts availability are great. The, you know, there's just so many pros to them and very few cons versus some of the other brands. But I'm not so naive to think that they are the best in every market. You know, they're just not. There are certain states that they're, they don't even sell that brand yet. They don't have a supplier there or whatever. The, you know, none of the suppliers are meeting their standards, whatever the case is. So, you know, that's that's one thing. And then the other thing is one thing I, I just want to throw out there, and I've I've seen other videos where guys that are way smarter than me are are implying this, and that is it 
I, I don't want to say it doesn't matter, but I can honestly tell you that you're focusing on the wrong thing if you're worried about what brand you should install on your home. And what I mean by that is what you should be focusing on is the right contractor. I believe that there are brands that are great when we install them because we install them correctly. And that same exact brand installed by others, people are just, you know, having issues. They call us and we go in and we find all this stuff wrong with the installations and so on. So, you know, I, I wouldn't focus honestly as much on the brand itself. Do I think there are some that are better than others? Absolutely. But you're focusing on the wrong thing if you're worried about the brand. I would say find a good contractor, good reputation, good warranties, good uh, good warm fuzzies, right? You, you meet them and they're saying all the right things. They look like they know what they're talking about. They tell you why they sell what they sell. You know, they can rattle off a couple reasons, you know, this brand offers this, this, and this that, you know, other brands aren't or whatever. I can do that. In my market, if somebody's like, why do you sell what you sell? I can answer a few sentences and tell you exactly why I sell what I sell. So I hope that helps. A few things to think about. Stop asking me what brands suck it more likely, you know, who's the best and who's not and all that good stuff. Feel, you, you are welcome to reach out to me and I'll tell you there, but I, I'm just simply not going to do a video on that uh, for obvious reasons. So we want, we want uh, you know, even if I think a brand is bad, you know, not that great, I, I still want to have a good relationship with them in case I need parts or warranties or whatever. With all that said, if you're in our coverage area and you are in the market for a new heating and air system, give us a call. We'll give you a free estimate. We'll give you a great warranty, the best warranty, I think, in the area. And, you know, we'd love to earn your business. If you're not in our coverage area, but you're in the market for a new heating and air system, before you spend thousands, check out my website, newhvacguide.com. And the whole idea behind this website is just like a CPA would help you with your taxes. This is going to help you with the purchase of, in a lot of cases, the third largest investment that you're going to make uh, behind your house, behind your car. A lot of folks, their heating and air system is the third largest investment. With that said, we put so much information on there. I, it's almost as if I wrote a book, decided not to because it, it you know, as soon as I do, it's going to be outdated. New technology comes out, new, all kinds of information comes out. And so this website is like a book, but it's constantly being added and changed. So... You know, we even have a whole page called no-nos, things to stay away from, things that you want to avoid in your pursuit of purchasing a heating and air system. And we just have the step-by-step -step guide. So newhvacguide.com. And lastly, please subscribe if you haven't already. We really appreciate your support and stay tuned for more videos, tips, tricks, and uh, appreciate it. Thank you.